Thank you for coming, and I hope you enjoyed this little game show trivia. I don't know about you, but I love game shows. Do you have a favorite one? Oh, I have too many to count, but I love concentration and um, Hollywood Squares or Match Game. I like the old time shows. Price is Right, of course, is a, a popular one. So before we, before we end and say goodbye, um, I thought I would share some fun and interesting facts that you might not know about some of your game show game shows. Have you ever seen the game show Cash Cab? If you haven't, it's basically a cab driver um, takes you know contestants or people in t that come into the cab to the destination, and on along the way. They are asked trivia questions, and as long as they get it right, they get money. But if they get it wrong, three strikes and they are out. No matter how far or how close they are to the de destination, they are kicked to the curb. Um, and, if, and if they win money, they on the show, they, it looks like the um, cab driver is actually giving them cash in their hand. But in, in all reality, a check is sent to the winners. Have you ever noticed in Jeopardy that all the contestants are the same height? They aren't really. It's an illusion. They have bo boxes or cu cubes behind the podium at different heights to accommodate the differences of, of each contestant's height so that they are all the same. Do you think the wheel on Wheel of Fortune is as big as it seems? It's not. It only is like six feet in diameter. Have you ever thought, do they really get to take home as much as they say they win on these game shows? They really don't. A lot of times they have to um fork over a lot of money back to back to the government for taxes did you know that the winners on prices right are greeted by people outside of the studio wanting to buy their prizes but they don't get and if they sell their prizes to these to this market, they won't get full full value. Of course. So game shows like Jeopardy and Real Fortune that occur every day, Monday through Friday. Do you think they film every day? They don't. They actually film a week's worth in one day. So like Pat and Pat Sajak and Vanna White, they only have 15 and 15 to 20 minutes in between each um, film or each show in that one day to change their clothes. On the game show, The Weakest Link, there's a lot of cheaters in the world. Apparently the contestants on this game show have to be escorted to the bathroom and everywhere during filming because cheating happens. Now back to Cash Cab. You, th you know, when I watch it, I think, oh, it's just these random people that the, the host slash cab driver picks randomly from the, the street. But some are, but most of them are recruited. Have you ever watched um, the American version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And they get those three helping tasks, phone a friend, ask the audience 50-50. Well, apparently if you ask the audience, 
a high percent of the time you're going to get the right answer from the audience. It says um, using the Ask the Audience Lifeline is usually a good way to get the right answer. Did you know that on Price Break, the game Plinko, you know that big board with the pegs and you drop the plink, the kind of a puck-like thing down and it kind of moves down these pegs into slots of different um, amounts of money? Well, apparently those Plinko chips, there's only 10 in the whole world because they are so expensive to make. So contestants can't just take it, take one home for a souvenir. Back to uh, who wants to be a millionaire. That lifeline phone a friend, it is a real big hassle because you have, the contestant has to pick five friends who have a landline and who are going to be home all day long because they don't know what time they're gonna be called or anything. So they have to commit to being free and available all day long and have a landline in order to call, be called. Well, I hope you enjoy these fun facts. Tell me your favorite game show. Do you have one? Do you even watch them? Are you, or do you like to play games with your family? And what games have you played with your family? Have you done table puzzles or Monopoly or different card games like Solitaire? One that we used to put, we play at the center a lot is Kings in a Corner. So if you want um, the instructions to like Kings in a Corner, cause you like, you and your family like to play, um, cards comment below and we will um definitely get you those instructions because it's really simple and really fun 